Before I can attach the end pieces, I have some details on the top I need to take care of. So one of the first things I want to do is put a quarter inch round over on this rail. Now to make sure that the guide bearing stays straight at the end, I've attached a piece of wood with some tape and that way the bearing will run flush up against that and I won't have a weird ending there. Once I've completed this quarter inch round over, then I can come over to the top of the bench here where the tenon is and I can put that same small chamfer that you saw me put on the bottom of the bench. That turned out beautifully. You can barely see the seam other than the glue marks, but those will all be sanded out eventually. Now the whole reason for doing this round over, of course, is because I don't want any of the projects that I'm working on to hit a sharp edge and dent the project, because this is a hardwood on the outside, so it would be likely to uh, put a nick or a ding in it. With the outside rails done, it's now time to go ahead and round over the inside of the tool bay, because if I'm reaching down for tools, that's a very sharp edge right now, so I want to ease that over. So it's the same process. You always have to keep in mind which direction the bit is spinning so that you don't work mess everything up. So it's biting this way, so I'm going to go that way. <laughs> Now I'm going to round over the underside of the bench and if that will protect my legs if I'm hitting them or if I'm bending down I don't want to hit my head on something sharp. And I'm making this round over bigger than the top one and when I come up to these legs I'm not going to be able to round off right in the center of the leg. So the side of the leg is actually going to act like a stop when it hits the bearing there. So hopefully it will look like a nice detail and not a mistake. Routing on the side like that is always more dangerous. You have to be a lot more careful. It's also harder to get a true cut. I think I need to go back through this area. It feels a little rough. So with a little sanding, I think that's actually kind of a nice detail there. Where my chisel slots are, it's very flat right now, but I think over time, putting tools and stuff down there, I'm going to be chipping the edges. So I'm going to go ahead and do a chamfer, very, very small, around here. Now I have my smallest little guide bearing in there. They can just barely make it into one of those holes. So here we go. I'm going to hold it down pretty firmly just in case it hits that bottom there. I probably liked the nice crisp look that I had before, but this looks nice too. But I think this is more functional, particularly for the end grain of each of these. Much 
less likely to have any tear out accidentally this way. Using the exact same chamfer I just used on the tool slots, I'm now going to go ahead and chamfer the edge here where it fits up against the block. I've taped wood blocks on the end again so that I can have a nice clean finished cut. Beautiful. And now I'm going to put a chamfer right on the side. I think that was the hardest of all of them to do to keep it steady. Came out okay though. With the roundovers and chamfers completed, the only thing left to do is to give a good sanding to the top. I'm using my half sheet oscillating sander hooked up to my shop vacuum. I'm not trying to get rid of all of the ridges, but I do want the top to be rather smooth. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And don't forget to hit the like button.